Today we are reviewing a cash strength Irish whiskey. Will we actually like an Irish whiskey? I don't know, I like the name. Redbreast? Whoop whoop. 12 year old cash strength, 58.2%. 58.2? Welcome back to Brolic Whiskey. I'm MetaHuman Dave. And I'm in trouble. That's a good, that's a lot. Mike's in trouble, he says, because this is Redbreast 12 Cash Strength Edition, 58.2% alcohol. American. Batch 1 slash 17. This is going to be a, uh, it's going to be strong, isn't it? Oh, I like the color. Look at that color. Oh, God, that's beautiful. And I'm pouring into my Whiskey Warrior Glencairn glass. Ooh, look at that color. Ooh. Before I forget, while this airs out, I have to thank Richie Gabriel for the donation. I don't know why you don't like this one, but we thank you for donating it to us. It smells beautiful. It smells full. I know this is Rex's uh, favorite whiskey of all time. Really? So we'll find out. Is the mooch right? Oh, man, that's good. That's good. Definitely get those alcohol fumes right on, mm -hmm. on the front. You can see it's got some dark color. Websites are really inconclusive. I've gotten such contradictory information. I've heard that this is natural coloring because of the fact that it's it's aged in both ex bourbon and ex sherry cask. So it had Olor Spanish Oloroso sherry That's that it was color. finished in, which is where the color would come from. That's beautiful. There's a certain website that seems to say everything's. Um, colored I think that website just is inaccurate so uh, I wow. do believe this is natural colored wow so color wise it's beautiful Ooh, smells nice oh it smells wonderful um, you get a real sweetness to it when I, yeah. when I smell it I mean yes there's the alcohol there but it, it smells you get very sweet that. yeah yep. it smells very sweet um, I don't know what do you think vanilla caramel a little bit of both think vanilla so. and caramel I, I was caught between the a two a little bit of candy like smell on top I can't yeah it's very much smells like a dessert it does it smells like a dessert like it this does. is after dinner you know you've had a great steak and you want something sweet and then this is it well Mike um, every every Irish whiskey we've reviewed we've always complained that it was only at 40 percent and we felt that it, it muted too many of the flavors no let's I'm, see what a full strength I've taken three small sips now and the burn is just staying there. That that tingling, burning, numbing alcohol sense is still there. Um, Ooh, that is nice. It's, it's, it's very complex. Uh, it's very intelligent. Uh, yeah, you have to be a smart person to drink this. I don't know if I can nail this one. I just don't think I've been around it long enough. There's there's definitely a whole lot of alcohol it's complex. power. It's punching you. You yeah. know that it's strong. It's not hiding the fact that it's a high proof. But throughout that, you do get clinginess with this. It, it seems to have more oil than you we've ever experienced with uh, an Irish whiskey before. And it does have some sweetness involved. As you said, there's some complexity. It plays with the, the palate a little. It does. It throws me here, it throws me there, and it's fantastic, and I don't know how to explain it. It's good. Um, yeah, I'm afraid I'm just not experienced Ooh. enough. And this is my first time experiencing a sherry finished whiskey. Okay. So some of the the different flavor notes that I'm getting might be because I don't know much about sherry yet. So some of the flavor notes that I'm trying to pull out, it, it might just be, hey, you're not used to these flavors. No, I. I'm trying to, to dig for them and it's just, it's difficult. Like, I want to say there's wood, but I don't know if it is. I want to say if there's, a, you know, the sweetness, the caramels, and I, I don't know if it is. Of course I, there's I wanna... wood, Mike. This is 12 years in wood. I know, but this I just This is a 12-year-old whiskey that's been put in bourbon and sherry finished oak. So, you know, there, it's 12 years surrounded by I, wood. But I can't pinpoint it. It's all over the place. It's good. I feel like I'm being bombarded. It's like being at an EDM concert and lights and music are all in your face and I just can't pinpoint anything. Oomps, 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 yeah, oomps, it's oomps, just oomps, it's just strobe overload. Is overload. <laughs> um I, I like it. Look, it, Richie, I don't know what I what like you're it. thinking. I don't know why you don't like this one, man. This is good. Granted, 
I won't go as far as the Supreme Mooch and say this is the best whiskey around because okay. the, the Supreme Mooch, he says it's his number one. I'll say it's damn good. It's probably, with the exception, I believe you had a sample of it, the Cooley um, Irish that we had at our meetup last time is my favorite Irish whiskey I've ever had. This is probably second place to that one. Uh, this is nice. I, I don't know, consistency, it has a nice thickness to it without being too thick. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of creamy, not pasty. Like, it, it's just smooth. It feels good. It tastes good. Uh, uh, beginners, beginner's point of view on this, like, if you're a beginner drinker and you want something complex and you want to try something complex, this is it. You it's, know, it's not distracting. Well, I actually drank more than you on this one. What I find unique about this is all that alcohol burn that we got on the first couple of sips, the more you drink it, it, it kind of goes away and more of the sweetness shows up. But it's not a hard burn for as much alcohol yeah, as it is. exactly. It's not. It's not overpoweringly no, strong, not but it lets you know yeah. that we're not a 40% yeah. <laughs> Irish whiskey. Do you, do you want a little more on top? Uh, how much water did you give me? I might have given you a little too much. Touch me. But um, it is, it's it's nice. We got to score it, Mike, before we move on. I would give it. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna sit on the sevens. All right. I'm gonna sit on the sevens. Seven even. Yeah. Um, only because unfortunately, I'm just not knowledgeable enough for this thing. I think it's just too much for me. Well, I think the whiskey's smarter than the uh, drinker. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close to you on score. I'm going to go a little friendlier by saying 7.3. Oh my God. It is a really nice whiskey. Oh, the water, ice cream. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's ice cream. The water really made it a lot sweeter. Oh, that is like some, some caramel fudge ice cream. It is. Ooh. Now, the guys from the tribe, I, I hear them say it a lot yeah, when it comes nice. to Irish whiskey. They keep going back to the same flavor notes. They always say buttered biscuit, like buttered shortbread cookie type of flavor. I don't get that. I'm not getting butter. Anything butter. But, wow, it smells so much different. Oh, God, it smells. It actually smells better. Wow. With like, a little bit of water in it. Yeah, I actually, uh, I haven't sipped it yet because I'm just enjoying this nose. It's very sweet, like like pastry donuts type of sweetness yeah it's and just look at that color even man that water. is a beautiful color even with water it's beautiful but flavor wise that alcohol really came out for me drinking it now i can really get that alcohol taste um not as enjoyable as it was uh neat <laughs> i really don't enjoy it as much <laughs> We're so we're so different. Yeah, I just get a lot of because uh, I don't alcohol. get any of the burn at all. Oh man, no, this I'm thing actually, first came out. Yeah, I know this happens a lot. Maybe I give all you right. more drops. I actually didn't get any alcohol burn, which is oh, smell mine. Mine's better than yours. Yeah, yours is very light on the smell, but yours actually it. smells like bacon. Oh no. Oh, well, all right. Hey, I can't like, complain we, about that. You ever had those donuts that have the bacon on top? That's kind of what I'm getting in this. This is like a bacon top donut. Yeah, yours is better. And the crazy thing is, I'm going to agree with the guy's original uh, statement about the buttery. I get butter on that. I yeah, taste yours, yours does have a little bit still of that. Uh, it, it hits you a little harder. Mm -hmm. It still has a little bit of the alcohol tinge. Mine, I maybe it's because I we did alcohol water alcohol for yours maybe i don't, don't know. know but i do get butter out of this that now. so sweet the the nose is absolutely amazing i Phenomenal. think this one does better with the splash of water it actually makes it sweeter you know what it, for me it, I, I think it's the same um nose wise improved uh both of them smelly both of them is improved I, I, don't, I don't really think the flavor got better. It just got different. That's strange. First sip, I didn't get any alcohol burn. Now that it's sitting in my glass... It hit you? It hit me oh. with the alcohol. So, I might have to redact what I said. I don't know. I got butter, it, though. It Did you might get butter? taste better. Neat. Let me go back to it. I, I've got butter. I it was there. I smell pastry. Like, that's what I get on the nose. It smells so sweet. 
pastry like, but let's see if I get butter. That is enjoyable. The flaw in it for me is the alcohol burn, and I know some guys like that. Um, not my favorite thing in the world, but that is enjoyable. Either way, it's enjoyable. I, I can't really complain. I don't get butter, but it is still a damn good whiskey. Yeah, I can't complain. Um, and now that I had a couple of sips of this, I will say uh, I'm I'm giving the edge to it neat. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Right. I'm gonna do dock right. it just a little bit. It's seven point one. It's still pretty close to my original score. I just think the neat brought out more complexity. This oh, just, on the nose though. Oh, if I'm going nose to nose, this wins over the neat. Oh, absolutely. On the oh, taste. Absolutely. I will definitely prefer it neat. That's so. Wild. That's wild, man. Let's see what this does. Red Breast 12 on the rocks. Let's see what this does. You didn't give it a score, Mike. Um, I'm staying the same out of seven. Uh, it teaches on, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, nothing made either way absolutely better and stand out better. So let, let's let's keep it even. I, I've enjoyed it both ways. I can drink it both ways. Heard you go both ways. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, there's a little ode to Deadpool right there. An uncompromising dedication to quality and to the enduring tradition of Irish pot still whiskey is the hallmark of Red Breast. So this is distilled by Middleton. This is a Mid Middleton product. Hmm. That's unfortunate. They they say that it gives it a uh, the pot stills gives it a creamy mouth feel. That's what they, their their description that. is. Um, I just right now I smell just basic sugar. And crayon. No, not um, unfortunate. It is, it is a weird. It's a weird nose. That's unfortunate. That we say this more often than not. It is usually that the rocks don't do whiskey much of a service in most scenarios. Ah, uh, yeah, it didn't. It smells weird. Like I can't really describe what it smells like, but it's like a funky, waxy. Yeah. It just smells like sweet crayons to me. Hmm. Yeah. I'm... It doesn't taste as bad as it smells. It doesn't taste very good. I think if someone was just pouring us straight from... Like, they, they just grabbed their bottle, threw it on the rocks, and handed it to us. I don't think either one of us would complain of what it tastes like. I think comparing it to what we just went through... He, yeah, this doesn't live up to what it tastes like, neat. But if you just gave it to me and I didn't, you know, I'm I'm a guest of your house. Mm -hmm. I'm not ordering it at the bar. You're just bringing it to me. I'm not going to complain about this one is what I'm getting at. I uh, Yeah, I, that's true. I would still have to choke it down. I'm not going to drink it smoothly. I would have to choke this one down. Yeah. Um, not too fond of it at all. Yeah, it's not, it's not that good. I, I'm no. just going to score it real quick just yeah, exactly. to, for brevity of the video. 4.2. It's not undrinkable, but what is that? Is that Four Horsemen? Four uh, horsemen. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's definitely Four Horse something. Uh, not not happy with this one at all. Uh, first two ways, fine. Ice, just not a, not a, not a doer for me. Well, Mike, you, you just handled your first cash rent whiskey on camera. I kind of feel like I got off easy, though. And, yeah, you, you enjoyed it. I think I got off easy. So, prior to this, I I mean, I could be incorrect, but I think 50% was the highest we've done on video so far. Yeah, we'd have to look it up. I um, think that was the Gariano was 50. It was pretty intimidating, 58. But you handled it like a champ. Yeah. It tastes good. Um, we liked it. We we appreciate Richie for thank you for Richie. That was fantastic. Donating a bottle. That was fantastic. Thank you. I don't know. I put on my big boy flip flops for this one. And, hey. uh, oh, the big boy flip flops came out. Yeah, big boy <laughs> flip flops for this one, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Fifty eight percent was a little bit scary at first, but hey, took it like a champ. I'm gonna say, buy the damn bottle. I agree with Mike because I feel this is one of the most budget friendly cash strength whiskeys you can get. How much? I've seen it somewhere in the ballpark of like sixty bucks. Wow. A I've I've seen percent. it I've seen it even cheaper That's when it's good. on sale at That's Total Wine, but what I'm saying is it's a couple of dollars more than the normal twelve. So 
Yeah, Bang for your it. buck, this is probably one of your better cash strength purchases. Not a bad purchase. <laughs> Not a bad purchase at all. Um, Richie, you did, you did well to take a shot on this one. Unfortunately for you, it didn't work out. But Fortunately I, for us? Yeah, I, I think your the majority... Your donation worked out. I think the majority of the people are going to actually enjoy that one. That's I a do good too. One. Yeah, that's a solid ball. It's, it's a friendly, high-proof whiskey. So even if you do dilute it down, you're going to stretch your dollar out more as well. So newbies, that's, that's a buy from us. Newbies, newbies, buy it. If you're looking to see something that's complex and enjoyable, right there. Yeah, this is what we always say we wish Jameson would do. We wish Jameson would start coming out with some higher proof stuff. At least Redbreast is doing it. Hit us with that beautiful outro that you're famous for. Oh, yes, my <laughs> famous riddles. This is the best duo in the whiskey review industry that has a placard and red breast review and where's Adam Bomb? Is that Adam Bomb? Adam Bomb. Bringing it back. See, bringing it back. The unions might not even know who that is. Pepperidge Farm remembers. But hey, we know it. We love it. We're bringing, we're bringing everything. We're bringing red breast. We're bringing Adam Bomb. And I'm, uh, as always, bringing chopsticks. <laughs>